hey what's up you guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl destiny so today i'm going to be showing you how we did a complete 360 on this wig y'all i'm gonna be showing you how i got my lace from this to this brand spanking new so if you want to see how your girl got the job done then keep on watching <laughs> So here is what the lace looks like and it is completely stained like there's no makeup that can help that like this lace was completely stained um and if you know anything about coloring red is one of the most stubbornest colors to deal with and um yeah this this lace was just done for okay so what i'm going to be using to remove that color out of the lace is color oops now you can get this from either your beauty supply store rite aid walgreens cvs or you can even try to order online from amazon but it is of course a little bit more on amazon and this stuff is pretty expensive to begin with so that was just 14.99 and that was from my beauty supply store but normally in the drugstores it's a little bit more pricey um but wherever you can find it you know it's definitely worth it because it does work so when you get the box um and you open it of course you have your contents in there and it's similar to when you um use box dye you know normally you get like two containers like the squeezy tube and then the actual developer you just mix the two together shake it up really well before um actually applying it onto your lace now if you ever use color oops well if you haven't used it i would just say beware this stuff smells horrible like horrible i thought people were exaggerating but no this stuff really smells horrible and even on the box it tells you to wash your hair for about 20 minutes you know shampoo your hair for about 20 minutes and they're absolutely correct this stuff it the smell lingers like even in the room that you you know put this on and like even in my hair room like i can still smell you know the cup you know the smell of this stuff so definitely be aware of that so now that I have everything mixed up together, I'm just going to flip my wig inside out just so it's a little bit easier to apply it um, onto the lace. And here's just another glimpse of what that lace looked like, y'all. Like, it it was literally, like, horrible. I asked my client, I'm like, girl, what did you do? Like, she said the watercolor method and the got to be spray did not help. And that's exactly why I always choose to hand paint my roots <laughs> and just do the watercolor on the ends because... I can't so once I have everything mixed up together as you can see I put it in a um, mixing bowl just so it's a little bit easier to work with because I'm not squirting it onto the hair and this stuff is actually very runny it has a very watery consistency and I wanted to make sure I was careful and you know I didn't push too hard on it because I do not want it to get onto the roots of the hair I just want it to be on the lace so make sure you are careful you know and you are you know not rushing because the last thing you want to do is you know change the color of your roots and it's just a whole mess so i'm pretty much just going to apply this onto the lace you know very carefully very gentle and then i'm gonna come back and show you guys what it looks like
Okay, so once I have my lace saturated and covered to my liking, I'm just going to use the plastic bag that they gave me along with the gloves in the box. And I'm going to um, just put the lace part in there and I let it sit for 20 minutes, which is what the box says. So once I let it sit for 20 minutes, this is how the lace looked. And if y'all can see, like literally this was almost like brand spanking new now the spots where you see is red i didn't cover the part of the lace that i knew would be getting cut off but i did pretty much most of it um but i didn't worry about like the edges and stuff like that because i'm like i know that's gonna get cut off but as far as like the part where i knew the lace was going to be you know still attached to the wig i made sure to cover it and it's almost like brand spanking new y'all like let me tell y'all something if you ever have an issue with staining your lace color oops for the win literally okay but i did have a little bit more of that color oops in my bottle i didn't even use like i used less than half of it so i'm just going to um apply some of that onto the brush add some more onto the lace just to try to get everything out um but for the most part this was you know doable as is like this was perfect and y'all i was completely shocked because i didn't really know if this was actually going to help you know remove everything but y'all it did the job <laughs> like like i said color oops for the win So here is the final results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this video was super helpful, super useful. I hope you guys learned something new today, okay? You don't gotta throw away your wigs if you mess up the lace, okay? Color oops for the win, y'all, okay? So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next one. Peace.